chairs up here. There's three or four more here. Five, six. So good evening. I'm going to get us started here. My name is Jay Douglas, and I'm, a, I'm an epidemiologist with the Oregon Health Authority. Epidemiologist means uh, we're the type of people we, we study things like uh, human health, human health and illness. And I work for the Oregon Health Authority in the Public Health Division. And within that, I sit in the um, Office of Environmental Public Health. So I'm, I'm what's called an environmental epidemiologist. So that means that I am responsible for um, looking into uh, whether or not people or animals, but only to the extent that they affect people, are being exposed to environmental uh, contaminants that put them at risk for health. So that's me. Um, I have, I have company with me tonight, and I'm going to introduce them in just a minute, but I want to stop for just a second and thank you all for coming out. This is um, it's an impressive turnout tonight, and I'm, I'm pleased and I'm impressed and I'm a little humbled by the, the level of um, interest that you're, you're clearly demonstrating. So um, we're here to, to talk about several things tonight. There's obviously a lot of you here with uh, what I hope will be a lot of questions. Um, and I just before we get started, I want to tell you that um, we've got some things that we want to talk to you about, tell you about. Um, and then the next part of that is to begin hearing from you for any questions. So um, we're going to be here, or we're going to be here all evening, and we'll be here until the last question gets asked and answered to the very best of our ability. So. It could be a long night. It could be a long night for us if, uh, if it goes long. If you have gotten your questions answered and you don't feel like you want to stay longer, you're perfectly free to, to say uh, nighty-night. Um, but we will stay um, until we get it all done. Now, this is, not, this is the first time we've been out here like this, but it is by no means going to be the last time. So if you have questions after this evening, you're going to have some opportunities of me, of my staff, of my colleagues here, um, but we will most certainly be back. So, um, so uh, let me just kind of kick us off here and uh, open title. I'm a, I'm a bureaucrat, so I can't have a conversation my slides. So, um, but sometimes they're helpful for moving the conversation along. So this um, work that we're doing around Highway 36, specifically Triangle Lake, is called an exposure investigation. Um, there are a lot of other things it could be, um, none of which it is. Um, we are specifically focused on um, human exposures. Um, we're uh, specifically related to some current concerns um, about pesticide application in this area. So uh, we are here as a group, uh, but there are different agencies represented, and again, you're gonna hear about those. But the, um, the group that we are, is the Pesticide Analytic Response Center. Um, that is, uh, you're gonna hear more about that, but, I wanna, but it's, uh, what we're here to do is to talk to you about who PARC is and how we're responding and how you can, can talk with us. So, first of all, what is PARC? Besides a nifty little uh, acronym. PARC is the Pesticide Analytical Response Center. It was established um, way back in 1978. It was established by an executive order of uh, the governor and is designed to do, uh, to do essentially one thing, um, which is to consider when and if and how pesticides in Oregon. It's a very unique thing. There is no other state in the, in the U.S. that has anything like PARC. And it's a, it's a testament to, uh, I think, how Oregon functions um, that we we are, have been able to maintain uh, something like park. Other s states have initiated uh, things like park, but they haven't been able to be maintained. So park is made up of a number of agencies, and they're listed in those bubbles around. Uh, they include the Department of Agriculture, the Oregon Health Authority, uh, the Department of Environmental Quality, the Department of Forestry, uh, Oregon OSHA, uh, safe or, uh, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, the Oregon Fire Marshal, 
the Oregon Poison Control Center, uh, Oregon Fish and Wildlife. And we also get some help from one other state agency, the Oregon Department of Transportation, and we get some help from a couple of universities, Oregon <coughs> State University and Oregon Health and Sciences University. There's a lot of uh, different agencies with a lot of different missions um, all coming together on a, on a regular basis uh, every other month to um, look at and consider cases of pesticide exposure and see what we can learn from those, those instances. So, <clears throat> in this instance, um, we heard, Park heard, from one of the member agencies, the Oregon Department of Forestry, about some concerns that were being raised by members of your community. And they referred the question to the park board. Um, and because uh, there have been some concerns, there have been concerns raised uh, for a while about um, pesticide exposures here, park has been considering ways to respond, has been trying to, to uh, define what's the appropriate response for, for a while now. Um, <clears throat> in this particular instance, not all of the park agencies really needed to be part of the response. And we actually needed some, and got some, have gotten some additional help from two federal partners. So this slide shows you the agencies from PARC that are involved in the response. Um, that includes Oregon Health Authority, that's me, um, and my, my staff, uh, the Oregon Department of Forestry, the Oregon Department of Agriculture, and the Department of Environmental Quality. The two federal agencies that are here to help as well are the United States the US EPA and um, the CDC. The CDC, the CDC has a, uh, a unit uh, called the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, which is quite a mouthful, so we call them fondly ATSDR, and uh, just to point out that they are public health as well, they're CDC. So all of these agencies have been um, collectively talking together for a while now about how to address the concerns that have been raised by members of your community. So um, as to, to start off, because there's a lot of information uh, and we're going to give you an opportunity to ask questions, we want to make sure that you know who's here and who your questions can be directed to. I can answer some questions, but I certainly can't answer all of them. So, my colleagues are going to, one by one, as their bubble explodes, um, stand up and tell you um, who they are, the agency they're from, the, the mission of their agency, and what role they have in this investigation. So, ready to roll, guys? Okay. Oh, that's me first. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was all ready to turn the mic over. So, um, so, I'm Jay Douglas again. I'm from the Oregon Health Authority. Um, because this is a human health um, issue, the Oregon Health Authority as, has its, as its mission to protect Oregonians, to protect the health of all Oregonians. It's a, it's a large mission. So when it comes to um, uh, whether it's infectious disease or it's um, obesity, uh, things that can impact your health, that's what the, where the Oregon Health Authority has the responsibility and the, the mandate to step in and understand what are the risks uh, to human health. In this particular instance, uh, in the Office of Environmental Public Health, uh, my unit, uh, my group, has a, a program called the Environmental Health Assessment Program. And that program works with communities to identify whether or not if there are um, sources of contamination in a community, and it could be anything from a, a dry cleaner to um, an old mine site, um, it can also be pesticides, the Environmental Health Assessment Program steps in and um, looks to see if there are data that would help us know if people are coming into contact with those contaminants, to what degree they're coming into contact, and if that contact um, poses any risk to their health. So in this particular instance, we're here because uh, Health also in, in PARC serves as the co-chair. So the Oregon Department of Agriculture co-chairs PARC with the Oregon Health Authority. So I'm here with kind of two hats. This hat is my Environmental Health Assessment Program hat and this is my PARC co-chair hat. So I'm serving in, in dual roles. Um, 